Hey guys, Penguin Recordings here, and today I'm going to be showcasing how to install ArchBlade on Ubuntu. Now this will also work on other Linux distros as long as you have access to Play on Linux. Okay, this video was requested, and hopefully this video will help you, the guy who is, well it's not really requested, but you needed help, so I hope this helps you. Now you're going to need a couple of things before you get started. First being the Steam install.msi which I have on the desktop here. This is the Windows version of Steam. You can get it for free on the Steam website. Second thing you're going to need is Play on Linux. All right, so the version I have here is 4.2.1. Please have this version, or at least a version newer than 4.1.8, okay? So I'm gonna click Close. Lastly, you're going to need to go to Tools, and manage wine versions okay what we're doing here is we're going to be installing the wine version that we need now I already have it installed it's on the right here 1.7.1 CSMT however for you it's probably going to be on the left okay if it's on the left just select it and then click this arrow button in the middle once it's done installing it will be on the right now that you've got that out of the way Please make sure that you have your graphics drivers installed, whether you're using NVIDIA or AMD. I'm not sure if this game is playable on Intel uh, graphics currently, but you can try. More likely only going to be successful with AMD or NVIDIA at the moment. So let's get started. Go to click install, that huge install button. Now this window pops up. Go to the bottom left and tick install a non-listed program. Okay. Click next. Now select the first one here. Install a program in a new virtual drive and click next. Now here you can name the drive anything. I'm going to name it Arch Blade How To. You can name it anything you want to, but this is what I'm naming it. I'm going to click next. Here you're going to take all three, use another version of Wine, configure Wine, and install some libraries. Click Next. Now scroll down to the version that we downloaded and installed just now, remember, 1.7.1 CSMT. Select this and click Next. Here, select 32 bits Windows installation. Regardless if your Linux is 64-bit or 32-bit, select this one, okay? Click Next. Wait for it to create the drive. This can take a couple of seconds. All right, so now we're going to configure Wine. Go to the Graphics tab up here. And then go down here and tick emulate a virtual desktop. Now you can set the resolution to anything here. I'm going to set it to 1600 by 900. Okay, this is the resolution I want to put the window at. You can put in anything you want. You don't even have to do this part if you don't want to, but it's better to click apply and click OK. All right, now this is a very important part. Please scroll down and look for .NET 4.0, which is right here. Paul install .NET 4.0. Tick this. You need this to be able to run ArchBlade on Wine, okay? That's all you need for there. Click Next. Now it'll probably flash open and close a couple of times while it's installing .NET 4.0. This can take a bit this can take a, a while, so if it takes too long, I'll skip ahead. Alright, so .NET has been has finished been installing. Now we're going to browse to the Steam installer MSI. It's best to put it on the desktop, it's easier to find. So I'm going to click Browse, and I'm going to click Desktop right here. I'm going to scroll down to the Steam install.msi. I'm going to click Open. Alright, now I'm going to click Next. So basically what we're doing is first we're installing Steam. This is necessary since ArchBlade is only available through Steam. Click Next. Click 
I accept license agreement. Next, this is the same as if you were to do it in Windows. Should be pretty self-explanatory. English or whatever language you prefer. Click next. Don't need to worry about that. Just click next again. And we've finished installing Steam. Now it should update itself. The updating procedure can take a while, so I'm going to skip ahead to after the updating is done. Alright, so it's finished updating itself. Now you're going to notice that there's no text anywhere here. Don't worry, we will fix that in a moment. Right now you're going to want to exit this. Alright. So basically what we've just done is install Steam. You're going to want to make a shortcut here. Scroll down to steam.exe and click next. Now you can name the shortcut anything. I'm going to name it steam-arch blade so I know what it's for. All right. Now I'm going to click next. Now I don't want to make another shortcut so I just tick this, uh, select this and click next. Now we're done with that part. Before we start it up and start downloading Archblade, we have to do a couple of things. So let's select it. Don't worry about this play on Linux error. I always get it. If you don't get it, that's good for you. So make sure you select Steam Archblade, the one we just installed, and go to Configure. Now, at the Arguments tab below here, this is why you need play on Linux 4.1.8 or newer, because only these versions have the Arguments tab. You need this. So type in here, dash, no, dash, d, write. Okay? This is necessary so that you'll be able to see text in Steam. Alright, so make sure you have this. Next, go to the Wine tab up here. Now go to the Registry Editor. Tick that, uh, click that. All right, this is very important because we're using a special version of Wine here. We're using CSMT, so we need to modify two things. Let's go to Current User, okay, H key, Current User. Then go to Software, then go to Wine. Now right-click on Wine, go to New, and then go to Key, okay? Right-click on Wine, go to New, and then go to Key. Now you're going to name this key Direct3D. It's important that the 2Ds are large. All right, it's important. Hit enter. Now inside here, make sure you double click it. Inside here, right click, new, string value. Now type CSMT. Hit enter. Right click again, new, string value and this one we're going to name it strict order uh, strict draw ordering okay strict draw ordering so now that we have these two i want you to double click on the data section here for csmt and we're going to type enabled all right enabled right here click ok now double click on the data section for strict draw ordering and we're going to type disabled okay disabled now click OK now we can close this now that that's done so we've configured wine and we've put the arguments now we can start it up and start downloading Archblade okay so I'm going to click run it's going to start up as you can see, we have the text now. I'm just going to log into my existing account. Now I'm going to censor this part out since it's my credentials. Just logging in here. Click login. So it's going to send you a special access code which will go to your, your email to make sure that it really is you that's accessing your account. Just click next. And then go to your email, which you should already know how to do this. I'm going to skip this part of the video. Next. Let it do its thing. All right, click Finish. All right, so it's finished logging in. Now, 
I don't have the game in the list since it's a free to play game you have to go to the store for many of you guys you'll be going to the store and then you'll type in arch blade on the top right just click it this is a free to play game so you're welcome to try this on your own all right so then you would normally click play game however I've already made a backup so I'm going to be doing it differently I'm going to go to Steam back up and restore games so once it's done downloading you should be able to click the play button almost instantly and then it will start out pretty much like normal I'm gonna click play it's gonna do the usual uh, installing the redistributables you don't have to worry about that let it do its thing okay right now the game is still in development it's possible in the future it may not work or it may work better so it first resizes it this is exactly why I put it into window mode because it likes to resize itself most games do this you want to let it resize itself then you want to set the resolution afterwards and then remove the window Alright, so as you can see, it's working. It wants me to play the tutorial. Not just yet. I'm going to click cancel. I'm going to go to options, video. I'm going to bring it to 16 by 9. I'm going to click apply. Let it resize itself again. So as you can see, it works. But let's see how far it works. I'll try a bit of the tutorial. Uh, the settings is almost maxed out. I'm going to leave it as is because it auto detected it. I'm going to try the tutorial first. So this is what the game looks like in Wine. I am recording so it's very likely going to be sluggish here and there. I hope not too much though. Without recording I can tell you that it is smooth. I hope the recording does it justice. Ready. It does feel a bit sluggish Start. with the recording. So as you can see it's all there. Welcome to the Archplay tutorial. Hit enter. Yeah, with the recording, it does slug a bit. But as you can see, controls work. Left and right. Jump. So I think I'm going to call it an end to the video. It does work. Hopefully, this video helps you get up and running in Ubuntu or any other Linux version. This tutorial should work on Ubuntu 12.04. 12.10, 13.04, .10, and 13.10, and any other Linux distro that has played on Linux available to it. So I hope this video helped you guys, uh, helped you, helped you guys out, and thanks for watching it. Eh?